be a walk and ride. I'm going to walk some and ride some with Abe. Uh, we're going to take a tour of one section of the farm. I'll talk to you more about that as we get over there. Abe fans and fans of my gentle training methods may be upset because I'm probably going to have to whack Abe on the ass with a whip a few times to make today work. And that seems out of character. But the problem is, uh, when he stops on all the videos you've ever seen, I'm at his front. And I can pull on his lead rope, I can tug on his lead rope, I can jiggle on his lead rope, I can bitch at him about his lead rope, and I can get him restarted. When I'm behind him, I don't have any of those accesses. The only means I have to apply pressure is uh, verbal, shaking the reins, and swat, swatting him on the butt with the whip. Um, and so there are times when I have to swat him, and uh, I hope that doesn't upset you too badly. I wish he was not quite so hard-headed as he tends to be and would more often go. We're still working on that. We're trying to get there. I would be much happier if he would always go just on verbal instruction and without a touch. But we're not there yet. And I don't know a way to get there without this part of the training. So that's where we are now. That's where we are today. By the way, on this ride, I don't know if you'll be able to see me or not, but part of the time I'm going to be walking and part of the time I'm going to be riding, when he's going on flat ground or down slopes, I'm going to ride. I'm not going to make him pull my weight uphill. I don't weigh 200 pounds anymore. I weigh about 180 now. That's almost 40 pound drop from where I started with Abe. Uh, not quite, but close. And uh, he's still old and he's still, you know, not the soundest donkey alive. And I don't want to push him too hard. But, but we do want to go ahead and get these things done. So I uh, hope you bear with me. Get go.
Now where we are, this property, regular followers and viewers know that this is a, uh, that we live on a 28 acre property. I don't know if it's clear, but it's divided into, clearly, completely and, and savagely divided into three pieces. Uh, one piece that is the home 10 acres, and that's bounded on two sides by public roads at a 90 degree and on two sides with fences where our property ends and someone else's begins. On the other side of the road is 28 acres, but that too is divided by the creek. And of course, viewers know about the creek. I've been down there on a million different videos. The creek divides the 18 into about, I don't know, I've never done a, a measure of it, but guess, realistic guesstimates, somewhere around 10 or 11 acres and somewhere around 7 or 8 acres with the creek down the middle. And of course, the creek is, is a part of that acreage, so obviously those numbers aren't quite right. People often talk about population. They think that, that part of the problem with the earth is that there's too many people. And I'm always trying to illustrate to you the fact that the reason there appear to be too many people is because all the people go so fast and therefore each individual person has such a huge ecological footprint. You know, you take the 330 or so million Americans and we have enough footprint to be 2 billion people easily, maybe more. Each one of us is easily six times as big as a, as a human on foot or a human with a donkey. So this tour we're going to take today is just a set of lanes that I've mowed for management of the, shall we call it, 10 acres or 9 acres on the, on the 18 side. Uh, I have this uh, uh, partially managed with, with uh, uh, key line swales, which I need more of, but I haven't finished them yet because it takes me a while. To, to understand the way this land lays, you, you might think it's easy. You just go out there and it's, you know, this is uphill and that's downhill. But when you're, for me, it's not. So I have to look at a piece of ground for quite a while before I can figure out how it wants to be, how its water flows want to be managed. And uh, so there's a portion near where we're standing now here. Let me just give you a quick view of that. This over here. None of this has any swales at all, and I don't really know how. I mean, I, I'm beginning, I've got about a figured out how I'm going to key line that. But these lanes that we're going to travel today, they cover some of our key line swales. They cover the, the, the main swales on this side, which are planted with chestnuts and with hazelnuts. And I'm going to attempt probably to point out a few of the things that are here. Mostly the chestnuts haven't sprouted. A tiny, tiny few of them have. We had glorious rain for two days and, and now sunshine, so that may bring some of them up. Um, and uh, the the hazelnuts were bare-rooted seedlings, and, and uh, I planted them in, in damp soil, and they have mostly prospered from it. So we're going downhill now, so I'm going to catch a ride. Up. 
What's up? Walk up. Go on, walk. There you go. Come on. Come That's what we call the East Pond. We have a little fertilizer there. That's a good thing. Here is a high nitrogen, high nitrogen fertilizer. Walk up. Walk up. this so it shows along his right side as we walk up here every place where there's a stake there's a, a, a 
seed and 95% of them at least are chestnuts. And in between the stakes, there's uh, hazelnut uh, seedlings. I'll point out one or two of them, then after that you'll just have to see them on your own. Funny. It's hard to get him going, and then it's kind of hard to get him to stop. Whoa, whoa, Abraham. Oh, haul over. Good, right there. Whoa, whoa. I don't know if I can, if you can see it or not, but right here, there's a hazelnut shrub. Most of them are about that size. Most of them are doing pretty well. I can't see what's in the camera at the same time that I can look down there and point at that stuff. So that's why I don't know if you saw it, but they're little shrubs. The key line swale, which you also can't see, is just to our right here in the, in the grass. Oh. Just crossed the key line swale. Whoa! We just crossed the key line swale, which I didn't intend to do. That <coughs> I took the wrong run of that trail.
Oh. Oh. Or G, 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 G. G. Somebody tried to call me, but it looks like it didn't. It's probably G. But as you can see, once he gets started, he doesn't stop so easy either. I really like seeing him get a little more willing, but I guess one day at a time. Crap. Oh. Okay, well, now you're looking at the sky. Well, I've been the technology kind of all exploded at once. And uh, I'm not sure. Oh. What to do about it next, but possible to try to stay up. It's possible that Abe will stay in well in good manners. We're over here in the thorn forest now. This is not his favorite place. Never has been. I'm not really sure why. We're going to try to cut out of here and get over to the other property. Good boy, now walk up. Good boy, walk up. Come on, get up. Abraham, walk. Good boy.
Actually, what we're going to do here, I've got a lane that runs along the creek bank forest. I do a lot of work along there, planting new things. Basically, he always wants to go towards home, and this doesn't. Adjusting on the machine right here. the video on hold here for a minute. All I did was scoot the toolbox up a little so I could sit on it. Whoa, 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 just a minute. Whoa, whoa, just a minute. Whoa.
Walk up. Walk up. Walk up. Walk up.
You have to, I know. Go on, get it. Get. Get. Go on, get. Get. Let's go walk up. Walk up. There you go. Good boy.
You can cross that. He says, No, man, it's water. Go on, Abe, you can do it. Go on, buddy. Actual running water? You think not? Come on, let's go. Go on, let's go. Walk up. You can cross that, you old marshmallow. Walk up, walk up. Walk up, you got to. I know this is a hard spot. Here, I'll help you. This is a hard spot.
a dead turtle. Something's killed a turtle there. Uh, Hayes don't like it. Possibility I may have mowed it. That's a pity. Going around. Up, up. There you go. Now hop. Whoa. Whoa. 